Hey guys, and welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, my name's Kate. And I'm Alex. And we are back with our last instalment of Summer's box. Yeah, Summer and her family sent us a massive shipment of American goods and some yeah. Japanese actually yeah, and some yeah, other yeah. things. This is the last one, so that's a really sad day. This is the fourth one. Can yeah. you believe it? So if you haven't watched one, two, three, we'll leave a link up there. Definitely go check them out. Summer and her family are so awesome. Summer, Brent, Piper and Jace. Uh, we did send them some British treats back to enjoy. Yeah. If anyone else would like to try some, we'll leave a link down below. Yeah, we've got a whole website full of British goodies and that's an awesome way for you guys to help support the channel. Yeah, but we absolutely love that family they're yeah. so great and uh we are so lucky to have such an amazing box yeah. and friends from across the pond across the as pond. ones like to say ones like to say one one likes to say one likes to say as but it's not like just one say. person it's ones. ones what you're saying is logical but grammar matter. has already been dictated and you can't just change it right cool well on that note on shall that, we start on that, Bob, shall. <laughs> on that note <laughs> shall we start with the note yes which we have already read the note yeah um, but we have a little there can't be much of the letter left no so we've got some things left and i'm super excited yeah. can we start with these ruffles yes let's... what flavor are they alex honey mustard which if you've watched our videos before with summer you'll know honey mustard is her favorite flavor yeah and they're also one of our favorite flavors yeah. so this is super exciting what's really cool about these is their double crunch yes have we ever seen double crunch from ruffles before i think we've had before? one double crunch haven't we because we but walkers have started yeah. doing that haven't they because was that what we were saying like is the crunch. fact that ah walkers do that mm. whereas you kind of see the similarity between lays but never yeah. ruffles so someone's just put ruffles double crunch honey mustard so good crack them open and on now. the back it says own your ridges don't be embarrassed by your ridges no. own them Heaven. They smell great, don't they? They do. I like that on the bag you can see a bit of grease. Oh, they're so yellowy. Mmm. Yeah. Delightful flavour. Great way to start the box. Amazing crunch. Yeah, what do you think to the crunch? Like, are you pleased they're double? The crunchier the better. I love it. I really like double crunch. And in some ways, does it take away from the flavour or not? No. I like double crunch, double stuff. I can't think of any others. Yum. Mm. Delicious. Double rewards points. Great start. 10 out of 10. No, no, because a lot of you say the Snyder's honey mustard are too powerful. Mm. They're not that powerful. So no. I feel like if you want to get into honey mustard, that would be a good flavor mm. bag. In some ways, I love honey mustard so much, I could have more flavor. I would dip those in honey mustard sauce. They're delicious. They are good, but I they... will eat them again, but they, they could, could be even stronger. Yeah. yeah. These definitely. are double crunch. Maybe they could do double crunch, double flavor. Yeah. Bold, like bold. the um, big Chex bold mix. and brave, yeah. Right, rolled gold. Mm. We've had rolled gold pretzels Something, before, yeah. haven't we? Yeah. But not this flavour. These are tiny pretzels, tiny twists. Sorry. They're tiny twists. Yeah, a bit like tiny Tim. And these are cheddar. Cheddar flavour. I actually think my favourite type of pretzel is more of a flavoured one, rather than just the sea salt. Mm. I know a lot of people like the classics. Oh, look at them. That's not what the photo looks like no. at all. Usually, the photo looks like it's got more flavour. Yeah. These look like they've got more flavour on them. They are so powdery. I Amazing. love how powdery they are. Mmm. That like really buttery cheddar. Mm. It's like the pretzels have been kind of coated in butter. Yeah, yes. watch out for the staining. It's obviously been coated in butter and then there's just like powder. Just dipped in cheddar What do you powder. think to that cheddar? Really nice. Mmm. Quite artificial, but nice. That's the thing. It is quite a fake cheddar. Mm. But there's a range of fake cheddar that I love. Yeah. It kind of reminded me of something else. Okay, let us know down below. Where would you put rolled gold in comparison to like mm. the other brand of pretzels like Snyder's? Snyder's dots. Very good. I love how thin they are. You know, sometimes like they can get a bit and chewy. Too drying. And, yeah, very drying, but this is like perfect ratio. In some ways, they're kind of like the thin pretzels. Mm. Also, get a whole one out there, Al. Don't you love like also how like big the gaps are? Just enjoy that. I really like them, but like you say, if you're looking for a real cheddar flavour, mm. you're not really finding that there. That's kind of fake, but it's delicious. Yeah. It's almost like those dipping sticks. Yeah. Isn't it? Mm. Like a powder version. This little pretzel with the cheese. Sauce. I really enjoy those. Mm. Oh, what are we giving any of these? The ruffles are 10 out of 10. I'm going to go 9 because I think the flavours could be a little bit more powerful. And with those, I'm going 8. 9 for me. Okay. Last kind of chip. 
Yeah. Which I don't oh, yeah. know if it is chips. Cauliflower oh, bites. word. And like, how big is that bag? That is cool. Keto friendly. I hear so many Americans going on about keto. I feel like it's much bigger over there. I think it's there. a real trend in America, yeah. So these are cool. Rhythm. I'm guessing these are what, so cauliflower bites, oh. also from Costco, and a big favourite in our house, especially pipes. Oh. Happy birthday for the other week, Piper. I hope you had a wonderful birthday. Cheers, happy birthday. Have you had a look in yet? No. Get a load of these. Are they literally dehydrated yeah. or dehydrated, then roasted cauliflower florets? That is crazy. And do you know what I've been loving lately is roasted cauliflower. I think it just, yeah, cauliflower nice. is so bland, but roasted, it has the most really amazing like flavour. It's always like peas, whereas I feel like I'm more bound to like mm. these. So let's celebrate Piper while eating one of her Cauliflower, favorites. yeah. This is crazy. I've never seen anything like this. Oh. Mm. Just sea salt it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's giving me a vibe of when you have um, seaweed, you know? Yeah. Like dry seaweed. Well, I guess the oh sea salt. This is awesome. Mm. I like that a lot. That's really good. You know how we've had like the dried okra? Mm. You've enjoyed that. Mm. The dried pea snaps, you've really enjoyed those. I've enjoyed them, but like I'd never fancy that over crisp. Yeah. These have got so much flavour. So much flavour. I would definitely eat these. Huh? These are amazing. Yeah, they're so big. You kind of need to eat them on your own. Mm. <laughs> mm. These are great. Wow. And what's good is like good vitamin C, vitamin K. And do you know what I mean about cauliflower though? It can be quite bland, but this has so much so flavor. So much doesn't flavor. It? I bet, is that brown one got quite a lot? Mm. So, snacks full of life. Do we put pressure on our cauliflower snacks to be the best that they can be? Yes, we do. Yes, we do. But not too much. Mm. We apply just enough heat and pressure to ensure they're packed full of the vital nutrients and crunchiness you crave. Oh yeah, because if you heat something too much, it actually loses it, doesn't mm. it? Our organic sea salt cauliflower bites are bursting with savory flavor and packed with vitamin C and vitamin K that keep you crunching to the beat. What moves you? You deserve a snack that tastes as good as it makes you feel. With ingredients you can pronounce, with flavors you crave, with energy you can feel. That's what rhythm is all about. Rhythm helps your two hips move. Making delicious, wholesome snacks that bring out the best in you. It's our way of creating a healthier, happier world. One, one bite, bite at, at a, a time. time. <laughs> well done, Rhythm well done, Rhythm. Food. I'm gonna this have one more because awesome. it's yeah, so I'm delicious. I wonder how they make them then. I thought they'd maybe they're just dehydrated. But they obviously heat. Heat and pressurize them. So do you think they're made somehow in like a pressure cooker? Probably we can't get anything like this here. No. So I would love to know how to make these because I want more of these. Mm. There were those other things, you know, like you were saying about the okra mm -hmm. that were dehydrated. It kind of makes you want to get a dehydrator because mm. we can't get anything like those snacks here. Add it mm. to your other list of home um, cooking items. These are so good. I know it's very pandemic, but I got an air fryer and I'm loving it. I'm going to taste like popcorn in a way mm. as well. If you can get these and you haven't tried them yet, do not wait another minute. I wonder if we can get them in our Costco. Sometimes there's mix overs, mm. crossover. I would love to get more of those. There are so many times when there are bags of things like that mm. and they're like the healthier option. They look healthier and you always love them. Mm. And I'm always like, yeah, they're nice, but like I could never see myself picking those over crisps. They are so they're good. They're so delicious. The flavor's amazing. There's so much sea salt on there as well. Yeah. You know, sometimes when they're like all sea salt, there's like hardly anything because they're trying to be healthy. Yeah. Really, really good. And I bet in the bottom of the packet, you've got good there's little loads, like yeah. pinches. Mm. Oh, get your hands on some of those. So they good. were amazing. And I think because it's something we've never had before, mm. they're 20 out of 10. Definitely 20 mm -hmm. out of 10. Wonder if it'll tell me somewhere if I put in that name how to make them at home. Mm, I wonder. Or someone can tell me in the comments. Woohoo, Jolly Rancher Ooh. Bites. Now, I'm not sure Soft. if we've tried these before. Chewy candy. No, they look great. Green apple and watermelon. Mm. Great flavor. These actually look really exciting, don't they? These are some of your favorite forms of candy. The rolled up yeah, pencils. Yeah, the rolled and chewy. Ooh. Oh, they're tiny. Really small, aren't they? I like how small they are. Look oh at that. my word. They look good. That's amazing. <laughs> what, something stuck in your feet? <laughs> that is so good. When it says soft, it really means soft. So soft. Wow. They're yeah, literally so delicious. They're quite sherbetty at the mm. end, aren't they? Quite a bit tangy. I like pencils, but not as much as you. But do you know what's different about those? They're super soft. It's not a creamy center. No. It's not that like white it's like center. Same. It's like a jelly center mm. almost, not jelly, but you know what I mean. So 
I love them so much. I love how small they are. Yeah. They're so soft and delicious. 10 out of 10 for me. 10 out of 10, yeah. Definitely. Yeah. One of the best Jolly Rancher things. And the two flavors are amazing. I wonder if they do other bags with other two flavors, like the blue yeah, raspberry. That'd be cool. Okay, Al. Blue raspberry and cherry. You pick cherry. I'm just saying. Blue raspberry and strawberry. Orange. Orange, Orange. and lime. Now, this is what I was telling you about. This is what you're telling me the about. The ultimate peanut the... butter lovers. <laughs> Reese's lover, lover, ultimate lover. peanut butter lovers. Now, are you excited for I'm this? I'm excited. I'm all excited. Can you not tell? Yeah. I'm jangling like a bell. Yeah, so Reese's peanut butter dipped in peanut butter cup. No. It's outrageous. How they, dare they? They said it couldn't How be done. Dare they? they said it couldn't be done. Next, it'll be Reese's peanut butter butter cups double dipped in peanut butter. Yeah. Oh. Covered in chocolate. Covered, covered again yeah. with peanut butter. Whoa. Woo, woo, woo. Do you know what that looks like? It's a naked peanut butter cup. It does look naked, doesn't it? So is that just all peanut butter? Mmm. It's like a soft peanut butter cream in the middle, crumbly, like a set peanut butter on the outside. Considering how peanut buttery it sounds, mm. I like that. That's really nice, mm. isn't it? Smooth, salty, mm. but, oh, nice nutty. I'd eat the other one like, now, but we got more stuff to look nice at. Nice and sweet, yeah, but also so salty. Yeah, and kind of earthy. I've really come leaps and bounds, haven't I? Leaps and bounds in terms of peanut butter over yeah. the years. <laughs> you didn't even look at a peanut butter cup no. when we first no. started this channel. Maybe it just shows it's not about what you like. It's just if you eat it enough, you'll like it in the end. That's what <laughs> the super nanny said. Mm. With a child, they need to try something yeah. 14 times. So but it seems worth it with your vegetables, but <laughs> when you're talking about peanut butter, I don't think it's, you're just learning to I'm like just another to like more highly sugary. calorific um, treat. I would never pick one yeah. though. I'd never go out and pick one. Right, I still think the peanut butter pieces are good. What are you giving that out I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10. Yeah, that's really it's nice, really nice. I think I would have that just as much as the chocolate. Out of cups, I think the pieces would be the 10. Yeah. So I think that's like a eight. Pieces is 12, so that's still a 10. Yeah. Okay, what should we do next? Popping candy? Yes, now this is so cool. Like, These are awesome, when aren't have they? you ever seen popping candy like this? I've never seen it. I think they're multi bags. So we've got two flavours. We've got cola. And check this. Check this. Pesh. Pesh. What's pesh? Peach. Oh, peach. <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine if peach was pesh? I was like, is that an American flavour I've never heard of before? Pesh. <laughs> I, th I almost don't want to open these because I don't want to... Oh, I'll cut the bottom off, actually. Is that because that's like your favourite actress's Pesh. name? Is that actually Madeline Peach? It looks like Pesh. Oh, yeah, kind of. Favourite in capitals and underlined, especially that peach from H Mart. Oh, so is this Japanese? <gasps> that's not what I was expecting. Peach. Have we had something... Tiny like oh, this it says before. made in China. So H Mart must do lots of different countries yeah. then. You get so many in there. That's Should we awesome. do half and half? Yeah. Oh, two great flavours. I love peach and I love cola. I think peach is one of my favourite flavours, actually. Pour it into your hand. Is it tangy? That's so phenomenal. noisy. Cola one's nice. It's like a cola bottle flavour, mm. not like Coca Cola. So noisy. Oh, I can catch this in my hand. <laughs> <laughs> You're like Angela from The Office. I looked at myself in there. <laughs> oh, my word. Yeah. I think I can say that's the best popping candy we've had. Yeah. In terms of crackliness and popping and the and length flavor. of time and flavour. You are so right with that cola flavour. Mm. It's like um, cola bottle, like a Haribo cola bottle. Yeah. And that peach. Oh, I'm going ten out of ten. <laughs> it's a ten, it, out it's of ten, ten out of ten. It's funny. It's such a kids thing, isn't it? Because as an adult, even if you like sweets, you're not. It'd be it'd feel very strange to just be like popping, popping candy in your mouth. Just you imagine just, just on back. the train. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone's like knocking it back. Yeah. What's that noise? I might so do kind of in your car on your own type thing. <laughs> <laughs> I might do a few of those for filming. <laughs> that was excellent. Right, this is cool. Look how big that is. Now we have seen a big thing like this before. Yeah. It was the Coca-Cola ones. Oh yeah. Do you remember? But this is brand new. You get 200 in there. Wow. Big Berry Adventure. Big Berry Adventure. Tic Tacs and Starburst gum I hadn't seen. Oh, perfect. Pink and purple. Oh, I'm having these. Oh, that's fine. 
Well, uh, I'm getting all the same colour. Mm, oh my word. It said 200 mints. Mm. It does have a minty cooling does feeling. It? Mm. Oh, I didn't notice that. But do you remember we had Icebreaker? Yeah. And they um, said they were And mints. they said they were mints, but they weren't mint at all. No. So I wonder if it's something categorised as a mint if it's that size. Yeah. I'm like a sucker. Or that type, yeah, a sucker. Whoa. What a sucker. The flavour of the purple one's fabulous. Mm. And then I like bite into them and that's where I get that minty coolness. Well, it's a little bit minty, isn't it? Oh. Nice flavour. The aftertaste, not so much, but I quite often find that with Tic Tacs. Yeah. They're quite like a bit artificially afterwards. I guess because it's so fruity at first and then the mintiness kind of mm. makes it quite... A bit chemically at the yeah. end, but that was really good flavour. Mm. Really, really nice. Right, I'm so interested to try Let's these. Let's do it. Sana says, Fruit roll ups, these are the kind I grew up getting and loving. So this is really cool because obviously we've had the very like more modern ones, yeah. which are the just the roll ups and things. These look quite fun and quite kiddy, don't mm. they? Different little characters on. Or is it the same character? Well, it's the same oh, just, guy on those two. Just holding the different, the different fruits. It's like when we hold our stuff up. Yeah. What do you want to try? Mango? Pineapple, green apple, strawberry, grape, or raspberry? Well, you don't often get mango and pineapple, yeah. so I'm kind of thinking that, but we probably quickly have a bite of a few, couldn't we? So these are Jovi, would you say? Yeah. Fruit roll, oh, mango. Oh, it's one of those, those big ones again. A fun treat made with natural fruit, natural fat free, and rich with vitamin C for kids of all ages. Yeah, look. Comes and out as just like a peel. massive. Oh my word! Splodge of fruit syrup, I guess it is, that dries. How funny. But our fruit roll-ups are like in a strip, aren't they? Yeah. And they're rolled round like that, and they're much smaller. Oh my word. This looks like much more like natural fruit, right. is it? Whereas yeah, the so. whereas the fruit roll-ups we tried more recently with like unicorns on, I feel like there's not actually any fruit in there. Oh, it's quite like... Yeah, these are almost a bit like those Trader, Trader Joe's, Joe's buttons we have. Leather yeah. buttons. These are mm, much more natural. Is nice, isn't it? Not what as nice as... the pineapple? It's good. It's not the best. The mango, not as good as like a Trader Joe's, you know, mango, juicy, whatever. But it is nice. Mmm, I like that pineapple. These are much more, like, real. I, it would be cool to see, like, the percentage mm. compared to root roll-ups you get these days. Well, it's a bit stronger. Apple is not one you usually find, is it? No. So... It's green apple. Are we trying them all? Yeah, why not? Oh, look at the colour of the strawberry. Mmm. Yeah, the green apple's nice. We do actually have a green apple winder here. That's what we call our fruit roll-ups. It's like the setting sun, look. Mmm. I actually think this green apple is one of my favourites. Yeah. This and the mango so far. It's lovely and strong, isn't it? I think the grape could be quite good. We're probably living like a child's dream right now. Yeah, we're trying all the flavours at once. Oh, look how dark this grape is. Whoa. Whoa. Mmm, strawberry's nice. Oh, that's nice. Mm, oh, strawberry's lovely. That grape's nice because it's quite a natural flavour. Natural fruit, it says. Kind of like a face mask. It does have sugar and glucose and pectin and but, but the pectin and some colours. Make it, um, some red forty. Um, some blue one. My favourite is the mango, the green apple, and the strawberry. Yeah, I think I like the mango and the green apple too. They're my favourite. Yeah, they're the best ones. And some actually sent us two of each. Did she? So we'll be able to enjoy those. Living the high life. I got sticky fingers now. <laughs> sticky fingers. Okay. A sticky fingers now? I'm pretty sure someone knows we have tried this before. Almond Roker, is it? Or Rocker? Well, we like to say Rocker. We like to say Rocker. But I think it's Roker. But this is a limited edition tin Ooh. and it is awesome. This is one of those tins that I'm going to be keeping for years. Well, Isn't the, it awesome? It's the kind of thing you could buy in like a kind of kitschy vintage shop, isn't it? Yeah. Without the food. And what I love about this is I think, is it limited edition and like Seattle? Yeah, because that is the Space Needle. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you a story, kids. In 1912, Harry Brown and J.C. Halley founded Brown and Halley in Tacoma, Washington. They soon created almond roca butterscotch, blending premium Californian almonds with fresh local butter for a delightful taste sensation. Word of this great tasting confection quickly spread to San Francisco, Chicago, and other parts of the United States of America. During World War II, American troops carried the pink tin overseas 
Today, Almond Roca Butterscotch is a worldwide favourite, still manufactured in our hometown a short walk from the original factory. 100 years later, Almond Roca Buttercrunch has become an icon of the Pacific Northwest. We are proud to share the stage with other landmarks such as the Space Needle, Pike's Place Market, the Museum of Glass and the LeMay. America's Car Museum. That's awesome. Please join us in celebrating everything that makes the Pacific Northwest special. This is awesome. This tin. is really cool, isn't it? So this is obviously a special limited edition 100 oh. year tin. It sounds like they were always kind of sold in a pink tin. Yeah, carried the pink Originally, tin. Originally, the original butter crunch toffee. Do you think it almost looks like a, um, a book? Oof. Wow. More info. I'm like tracing paper, look, see through. That is awesome, isn't it? It would be really cool to go visit one day, wouldn't yeah. it? And see Summer's family in person. Of course, pop in to see Summer. In it's family. cool that it's just like in a bag. Yeah. So then this really can just be used. Ooh, oh, they're individually, they're individually wrapped. So, you so we can just do this. Yeah. I, just but I guess it stops can... them rattling around. Yeah. It, and also it makes it look more full. Yeah. <laughs> They'd be broken otherwise. Oh, it's probably years since we tried it for the first time. Think. Oh, yeah, wow. I think so. We tried these in one of our first videos. Oof. Hello. And I really didn't think I was going to like it because look how many nuts there nuts. are. It's delicious. Like butter crunch in the middle. Mm. And when we first tried them, we did not know Summer and her family lived there. No. So crunchy and delicious. Mm. Really nice. Yum, yum, yum. What are you in that? I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. Really good. I think they're delicious. The mm. toffee crunch is amazing. And because of this tin, I'm going to give it 10 out of 10. It's so nice. And last but not least, we've got new Starburst gum. So there's cherry, strawberry, orange, and lemon. How cool is this? Is it me or do you feel like Starburst are getting into so many different things these yep. days? Which is good. Like, it's so annoying when brands just kind of sometimes just stay the same for so long. Bob's just Ooh, having a Bob. drink. He's getting his H2O in. Oh, this is a really like pleasing pop. Is it? Like pocket. And how good does the size look? Yeah. Oh, that's all of them. It They're says so 15, chunky. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 15. There is. Ooh. Oh, so soft. Mmm. It tastes just like it. <laughs> yeah. No. It tastes like a Skittle. Well, it's like Starburst Skittle, mixed with a Skittle. Mm. Oh my word. Because it really does have that Starburst flavour, but I think because of the like, crunch. It makes it, it makes feel it more like, like a, a Skittle. Skittle. Oh my word. And the shell mm. is so pleasing. Michelle. Michelle. Well, Bob's come to say hello again. Bob, now's your chance to say thank you very much for all of my dog toys, Summer. Say, Summer, friend. Hi, friend Chase. Thank you for my toys. I've been doing lots of Zoom meetings. Lots of Zoom calls with all my friends. Doing a lot of day drinking with my wine and beer. <laughs> and also been sipping my latte. Hey, eh? You've had a great old time with all your toys, haven't you, Bob? Hey, eh? love how he knows now that we try stuff and he's like, right, what's is there any of it for me today? Keep your feet from slipping. There you go, Bobby. You're so cute. You look so cute in the video we just released. Oh, my word, yeah. It's not minty, but you do kind of... Oh, thanks, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> look your t-shirt. my t-shirt. It's not minty, mm. but it's yours almost gone a bit lemony now. Yeah, it's almost like a freshness or like, something. Like, that's probably what yeah. they're doing. Like, mint doesn't go with it, but lemony freshness. Mm. Right, should we let you down now? A five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> Give it to me. I think there's only one choice. Are you doing a sweet and a savory? No, just doing one. I know what you're going to pick. Cauliflower. Cauliflower! Who would have ever thought this would be my treat of the week? Yeah. In a candy video. I know this is more of a snack, but I mean, this is absolutely delicious stuff. I feel like if we did do a savory and a sweet, you'd pick the Jolly Rancher. Yeah. Probably. Because that was amazing. Yeah, I can't believe it. But in some ways, because it is so different, mm. I think I'm going the cauliflower bites as well. They're absolutely delicious. We are hiding these away. Yes, definitely. They yeah. are incredible. But 
I really do think the popping candy was insane. Yeah. The Jolly Ranchers, and so was the Skittles. And the Almond but so was the... is so good as oh, well. Oh, and actually... Oh, and the Reese's Ultimate. This has just yeah. been an all-round Another... treat of the week yeah. video. But, I mean, standout just is the cauliflower. Yeah. Amazing. But, really, if I was to keep, like, the treat of the week, I think I'm going this because the tin, like, will, this yeah. will see us through for so many years. Like, We're we will have forever. this memory, won't You'll we? You'll put that in your house, won't you? Yeah, like that is so cool. I can put things in there. You can put things in there. I can there. put biscuits. I can put biscuits. tea bags. I can put. Oh my word! So many different types I of know. things. Almond or brokers. I've got another idea for you. My sewing kit. Memories. Memories. A memory box. It was really hard to pick a treat of the week this yeah, week because really um, it was pretty much a 10 out of 10 box mm. don't you think we absolutely love that and we hope you guys enjoyed watching that too we did send summer and her lovely family a box of british candy back to enjoy if anyone would like to try some we'll leave a link down below yeah and that's the best way for you guys to help support the channel we've got a whole selection of british goodies on our website we and by getting one of those not only do you get a delicious box of british goodies you help support the channel and christmas believe it or not is really right around the yeah. corner so our christmas seasonal boxes will be coming very soon so make sure you keep up to date with our newsletters instagram because we'll be posting about it on there yeah. but we hope you guys enjoyed watching that and we'll see you soon bye guys see ya